What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session, and today we're going to do a node locking session. So I want to show you guys how to use the PyroSolver node lock function. So here we have our original sim, Queen 4 4. It's 40 big blind button versus big blind. And on the right side, this is going to be our node lock strategy. So the first thing we want to look at is as we see here on queen 4-4, four, four, uh, the button has a, mit, a mixed uh, strategy. Like he's betting small and he's checking 50-50. And our guess is that some, a lot of players are just gonna range bet a lot here. So they're not gonna have all these checked. So we wanna see how our range plays against somebody who doesn't have enough checks here. So, we go in the set strategy and lock node. It's rebuilding the tree. Now we have all the range selected. Um, I am gonna drop them to zero, lock them. And then we are gonna go for a bet 30 to zero. And lock. And then this one down to zero and lock. And now we're going to have to embed range small with the whole thing, which I think is what population is doing on some of these boards. Save and close. And now uh, all we got to do is to click go and run it and see the difference in strategy, see the difference in EV. So, Some what are you guys just guess as to how our strategy is gonna change? We're facing a bet small. This is our big blind raising frequency, 30%. We call like on pair boards, the big blind is mostly gonna defend by raising. So we see this pretty well here. Uh, how do you guys think our strategy is going to change? More calling, more raising, less folding. Probably mainly more raising. Like, this one's uh, going to take a bit of time. Yeah, Let's because range are, are wider, <laughs> but we're going to have a good idea. Of... Oh, that's right. When we're doing the three bet ranges with this, the ranges yeah. were smaller. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we look at the um equilibrium frequency on the left there? So it's like 30, 23, 45, kind of. So I think it'll change to like more raising, less 40. Raising. 2830, something like that. Okay. But it might be more dramatic. So, exploitable for 3%. We're getting there. While it runs, should we do like a couple GTO whiz spots or uh, will we forget the thread? I think oh, it's, it's almost done. All one right. one or two more loop. Well, it's running. We should thank Louis for all his work, for all his artistic work. <laughs> Hey, Danny, if you want to send me a picture of you, I'll make you an avatar. Joey as well. Ooh. Mine is great. I be... It looks like you a lot, right, Scotty? Oh, it's on my phone. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect, right? <laughs> yeah.
All right, 1%, one more loop, I guess. Then I'm gonna see. Hmm. Where's the devil's advocate, huh? You love? Who, me? Yeah, of course you. <laughs> what about me? We're doing your, your, your no block, the one you cried for, half an hour. Are you gonna I, I go wanted... silent now that now it's running? I wanted your YouTube video to be quality. It's going to be quality. Look at this. How often do you find a simple node locking video on, on, on YouTube? It's not that many. Not, not that many. Not that many. You are right. Also, one cool thing you can do when you're node locking um, and you like set strategy and node lock. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to screw it up if I do that. Let's see. Probably not. So one cool thing you can do, uh, like if you want to say like, okay, Queen Jack suited here. Uh, I want it to go one way or the other. Well, you can click it. It's going to be selected here. Then you can change whatever you want from it. Like you can make it fall and then bam. Yeah, you... is it falling? Why is it not falling? <laughs> ah, there it is. It is. It is falling. So you can select one combo, click, and then you clear selection, and then you can load lock something else. So you can All go right. one combo at a time, or you can pick a portion of the range. It's kind of well done here. Very nice. So half a percent. Well, we're gonna have we're gonna have a look, right? Solver stop. So let's see. Now so our opponent all... is betting range. How yeah. does our strategy differs? Wow. Calling went way down. I thought there would be more calls. Mm. So we're folding about as much. Huh. We don't have a calling range anymore. Our calling range shrinks, which is interesting, right? So what was huh. this uh, scenario again? So is queen it... four four, look, um, this is the mix strategy from a solver. Mm -hmm. And we have it uh, and range you made, bet. made it range, made it yeah. range bad. Made it when, range bad. When they see bet range, instead of checking on boards, they should be checking. So right, so you've uh, you've kind of polarized the response. It looks like yeah. you know, on a paired board, you're supposed to defend by check raising typically. Although you will have some calls when they're mixing, yeah. but it seems if they're not mixing, we're not mixing in the big blind anymore, which is pretty interesting. I didn't expect that. So. The thing I'm, right beside. Let's see what's the difference. It looks like all the hands are the same, pretty much. Yeah, we don't change our descending range, which the is combos really interesting. Don't change, right? Yeah, they all, all more or less all the same combos. Still folding the folds. But what changes that? All the colors are now raises. So, no bad. So, one of the ways to picture it is when they see bet range, that's the opposite of being polarized. Because against right. the polarized range, you do a lot of calling because who cares if their bluffs fold and they never fold their bet? Yeah. Yeah. It requires balance at that point, right, Scotty? Like, yeah. If, they're, if, they, if they have a, a really mixed strategy, you know, the response is to have a mixed, the defense, optimal defense is to have a mixed strategy. Yeah, but you're thinking, but, but I'm, I'm picturing this slightly different because you're focusing on the mix of the strategy and I'm focusing on, on the concept of being, whether it's polarized or not, mm. is that an all raise strategy is the opposite of polarized in this case. And that surprises me. I would think of it the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I mean, their their response is 
So are you saying their response isn't polarized? I feel like it is more polarized. They have all the middle of their range too. Louis, I think we need to double check a non-paired board. Yeah, for sure. We will. So Scotty, along those lines, if we change their strategy, instead of to bet everything to only be betting a four and total air, then you probably would just see like pure calling as the response, right? Exactly. That'd be mm. that, that would be that'd be my theoretical prediction. Okay. Okay, I can get behind that. So yeah, that's really it. Our calling range becomes a raising range. That's interesting. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody.